Hi there everyone, it's Misty here from the July Photo. Welcome to the last 11 cards in my zero stamping series using the Doodlebug French Kiss collection. I listened, you guys wanted a voiceover, so here I am. <laughs> um, initially I didn't do a voiceover because I'm basically just gluing and gluing, so, but that's all right. So for this first card, I went ahead and adhered the bow paper to a piece of Night and Navy cardstock. All of my card bases are either four and a quarter by 11 or eight and a half by five and a half. And almost all my layers are um, either a quarter or an eighth of an inch. So I don't normally do um, any kind of fancy layering or anything like that. So for this card, um, I really loved this little um, Frenchie with the poodle. So I went ahead and added the um, sentiment to a piece of pink paper so it would pop against the navy. I'm going to adhere the light post with liquid glue. I got it a little crooked but I'll fix that in a minute. And then everything else for the front of the card is going to be adhered with dimensional adhesive. So before I sit down and start these series, um, you probably saw that I pulled this out of an envelope. I sit down and I put out all the chit chats and all the odds and ends, um, put what I think will go together into a little envelope and then put it to the side. And then I pull that envelope out and then pick my pattern paper, etc. cetera. So um, I'm gonna continue this series here. I'm just adding a little heart. Um, and then adding, of course, some Winkostella to everything. I am gonna have to invest in more Winkostella pins. <laughs> So I'm going to adhere this sentiment to the inside. I am using a tape runner from scrapbook.com. Um, I ordered a few things and they had those on sale. So I will try to link that down below. So um, what was I saying? I'm going to continue the series. And the next time I do it, I'll show you guys how I kind of put some things together. So for the next card, I am using these perfume bottles in this beautiful sentiment. And I decided I wanted to use up some of my... Um, scrap pieces of design this um, paper pad so I used an entire paper pad and I made 28 cards um, along with of course the chit chats and the odds and ends and I actually had pieces left over so I could have kept going <laughs> but I ran out of pattern paper so I'm gonna go ahead and add um, adhesive all over the card so I can add these strips of um, paper um, I added this floral in between and you'll see in a minute that I'll change it um, the one thing that I wish I didn't do on this card is in a minute you'll see I'll get to the end and I'll add just like a little sliver of the bow I wish I would have just trimmed it down and had it be a little bit um, smaller that way it was even because the rest of these are even I believe they're half an inch half an inch wide um, I do wish I had 97 pieces of this plaid I absolutely love it um, and I'm pairing this plaid with a Bermuda Bay, Bermuda Bay, I don't know, I'll have to see, um, card base. I know I do a couple of times because I love this plaid and it's got Bermuda Bay, purple, um, pink. It's just so pretty. If there's one thing Doodlebug does amazingly well, it's their images and their plaids. So you can see there that I decided to go ahead and change out the floral. I'm going to go ahead and adhere the um, sentiment using dimensional adhesive and then um, I cut out a oval using the stitched oval framelit dies from Stampin' Up and then I'm going to adhere that and then add the perfume bottles to the top. Um, I, If you are looking to get some stitch shapes, um, I highly recommend the one from Stampin' Up. I'm not even a Stampin' Up demonstrator anymore, but you get circles squares and ovals all in one um one package is that the right word i'm like set that's the word i'm looking for <laughs> so once i get this those in here i'm going to add this to a card base and um, this is melon mambo cardstock all of the cardstock that i use is from stamping up and um, while i'm no longer a stamping up demonstrator i absolutely adore their cardstock i love the colors i love that the ink goes with it etc and um, maybe someday i'll invest in somebody different but for now i have this and i'm going to use it up so after adding Winkostella, that's the end of that card. <laughs> now we're gonna move to the lock and keys. Such cute images. I'm so excited for you guys 
um, to see the next two collections that I have. I'm gonna continue this series using Doodlebug, but if there's another manufacturer that you would like to see me use, let me know. I think these cards are perfect for beginners. You absolutely do not have to do any kind of die cutting or anything like that. You can absolutely just pull what you like and use your tr paper trimmer and some glue and some adhesive to make some really cute cards. I and mean, if you see me or you've seen me in other videos, like if it's a speech bubble, sometimes I'll cut off, you know, the bottom part. That way I can go ahead and um, like cover it with a heart or something like that. That way it's more of a sentiment rather than something being said by a character. So to adhere the locks, I'm using dimensionals, um, the regular dimensionals from Stamping Up and then the smaller mini ones. And then I'm just gonna adhere these kind of on um, their side all the way down and of course I mess up and I moved it a little bit and then I couldn't decide where that put that key and I decided to go ahead and add it to the inside of the um, card panel and I'm gonna add Wink Estella. I add Wink Estella to every single card. I'm addicted. I can't help it. <laughs> so that's that card. Really cute. I really really like it. So for this card, I'm using the little boy holding a box of chocolates and then some chocolates above, um, above him. I couldn't decide which background paper I wanted and I ended up not using any background paper at all. So there you go. Um, this image is so stinking cute and what I wish I had done was I wish that I had put him together with one of the other little boys um, to make a same-sex couple card and you may guys may see me do that in a future video and I am not saying this to get political or anything like that but if you don't support gay marriage or anything like that and you leave an answer to comment I'm gonna delete it um I love everybody I feel everybody that has a, you know deserves a chance to be loved and I just think that um the gay community isn't represented I should say the LGBTQ community really isn't represented in scrapping scrapping and crafting scrapbooking and crafting and I really think that's a disservice so we'll see <laughs> we'll see what happens but I'm going to go ahead and hear him and um the three pieces of chocolate to the outside using dimensional adhesive I adhered the um I love you banner on the inside using liquid glue or maybe I used the tape runner I can't remember I kept going back and forth between the two so um, I'm using just the side pieces of your dimensionals. If you use the Stampin' Up! dimensionals or even like if sometimes with foam squares, etc., there's always leftover adhesive. So cut that up and use it. It's good adhesive. <laughs> it's just the scraps and the scraps work just as well. So I always make sure that I use it. So that's a look at that card. So the next card is a birthday card using this cute little girl in that really pretty sentiment. And this one, um, a lot of you guys wanted to see my design process, so this is kind of what I do. Um, I knew I wanted to mix some patterns, so um, I'm going to go ahead and adhere that dark floral to the lighter floral. And then I'm going to run that through my Gemini using the largest rectangle from one of the Lawn Fawn stackables. I don't think they call their stackables. I think that's my favorite things, but it's one of their stitch rectangles. And then I'm going to adhere this down. Now, if you guys use this die, I need some help because no matter if I'm using my Gemini or if I'm using my Big Shot, it curls. It curls on me. So if you guys have some tips or tricks or whatever I need to do to make sure it lays flat, please let me know. So I love the mix of these patterns. I love mixing patterns. Don't be afraid to play with patterns. Don't be afraid to play with color. You guys know I love that. It's in my house. <laughs> I do it in my house, I do it in my crafting. So yeah, so if you guys really like the series, make sure you let me know down below if you're a beginning crafter, do you find this helpful? Is there something else I can help you with? So I love that this says happy birthday sweetheart. Um, and then I'm gonna add that um, little, uh, not banner, what is that called? I don't know, this little piece um, and lift up the heart so it's on top of whatever that's called. I don't even know. <laughs> what is that called? Someone help me. I don't even know what it, it's not a banner. Whatever. Anyway, so so the next I'm gonna use this couple, um, this Parisian couple. They're on vacation in Paris. <laughs> and I'm gonna add them to this card. First I'm gonna do the inside card. Inside of the card, this is um 
probably the only time that I really do decorate the inside of my card layers, card bases, holy Moses brain. Um, but I've decorated almost all of them, not all of them. Some of them, I just didn't have anything that fit, but for the most part, um, all of them are decorated on the inside. If you're interested in purchasing any of the cards that I created in this series, make sure you head over to my Facebook page, which is linked down below. Um, I do have my cards for sale. Um, so just let me just comment on which one you're interested in. Um, we can do Apple pay, PayPal, or the cash app. I'll take all three. <laughs> Gonna add the ooh la la, and then my love. Do I add Wink Stella? I don't think, oh, no, I do. <laughs> yes, I do, come on, Missy, it's me. And then that's that for that one, love it, so cute. And I avoided doing anything Valentine's related in this series. This was a Valentine's theme paper, um, pat, or blah, 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 what am I talking about, collection, but there was only three or four things that literally said happy Valentine's Day. So luckily I was able to make some love cards. Um, so here you see me cutting down some card bases. Um, I tried to cut all my bases ahead of time, but I made way more cards than I thought I was going to. When I first started this, I had no idea how many cards I would end up with. So I was trying to keep some card bases going or card layers going um, in a stack so I could have them and get them adhered. So again, my inside card layers are four by five and a quarter. I'm gonna go ahead and adhere these two pieces of pattern paper together and then get them adhered to the card. Such a pretty paper pack. You guys know I love navy and pink. That's my one of my favorite color combinations. So I was all over this collection. I used one of the ovals from the layering oval frame it's from Stampin' Up to cut out the scalloped oval. And I'm adhering the ring box to the front and add some Wink Stella. And then on the inside, I'm gonna adhere the ring with the love. I wanted them to kind of um, overlap just like that, like the ring was hanging on love. So I used a glue dot to hold those together until I could get it um, completely adhered. And then I'm gonna bring in the, oh, there's Roxy Kitty. Um, I have um, to honor, love, honor, and cherish, I think is what the banner says. And I'm gonna end up cutting that down. But first, Roxy Kitty needed love. So <laughs> I figured I'd leave this in here. I know you guys love to see her. So, and she hasn't been visiting that often. She, she, we have a big chair in our room, our living room, and, and the cushions are soft. So she lays on that for most of the day. <laughs> so. She loves it. So for the next card, I'm gonna be using the chocolate and the boxes of chocolate. And I added just a small scrap of the designer, I call it designer series paper, but that's what Stampin' Up! calls it. This is just pattern paper, I guess. Um, again, I'm using nothing, I used the whole six by six paper pad of the French Kiss collection. But I'm gonna adhere those chocolates and I decided not to go with any paper on the front of this. I'm gonna adhere the circle chocolates and then add two with dimensionals. So um, the three are gonna be flat and then the two are gonna be um, popped up. That's a good, um, an easy way to add some dimension and to give yourself space to add, um, you know, several images on a card. After that, I decide, I'm trying to decide how I want to adhere the box of chocolates. Um, a part of me wishes I had a brad that I could have done that with, but I decided to just adhere them to a circle. Again, using the stitched circle framelit, or well, the stitched framelit dies from Stampin' Up, but this is a, this one of the circles. I think it's the largest circle. And then I love this like, life is like, um, and I didn't add anything else to it because it's like everybody is, almost everybody has heard life is like a box of chocolate <laughs> from Forrest Gump. My name's Forrest Gump. People call me Forrest Gump. I always say, dear God, make me a birdie, son, fly far, far, far away from here. Rob always gives me the side eye when I do that. He's like, what's that from? I'm like, I'm telling you all the time, it's Forrest Gump. <laughs> I really liked that movie. Hated the book, but loved the movie. It was really good. Tom Hanks did a great job. So did Robin Wright Penn. So, well, I don't guess she's Penn anymore, but you know. Okie dokie, the next card is with lovebirds and I love how this card turned out. It was, it didn't turn out how I originally planned it. Um, and I cut out probably 30 minutes of me 
um, ripping things off this card and you'll see me even rip off this um, sentiment in just a second. Um, I actually cut down three hours of footage and then sped it up to 400%. So this is four times normal. Um, if not, but it was three hours of footage. So what I do is I just sit down and to my right is my iPad. Um, I get on YouTube. I'm using an adhesive eraser, by the way. Um, I get on YouTube and I create a watch later with, you know, beauty videos, card videos, stuff that I can have on in the background. And I just craft and I just craft until I can't craft anymore. <laughs> And then I craft some more and then I, you know, take pictures and then edit the video and get it out to you. So this series is a really lengthy process, but it's one that I, like I said, I really enjoy. And if you guys have other um, manufacturers that you would like me to use, let me know. If it fits within my budget, I will do it. I'm actually using some Doodlebug paper in a collab that's going to come your guys' way at the 1st of April. I'm so excited. It's my first collab. Um, and the person that I'm collabing with, I've been following for years and she's just so nice and just so supportive and I love her to death. So I'm really excited um, for you guys to see that. Um, I'm sending her some images and she's sending me some images and then, um, yeah. So more details on that to come and I'll let you guys know when that is coming. Speaking of, um, I'm moving my schedule again. <laughs> I'm going back to Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but I'm gonna post first thing in the morning, um, probably either eight or 10 a.m. Central Time. I haven't quite decided. You guys can let me know down in the comments which time you think would work better. Um, and let me know when you watch. Do you watch while you're getting dressed in the morning? Do you watch in, in, in the evenings? Um, I honestly don't watch TV. Everybody's like, what's your favorite TV show? I was like, I couldn't tell you. It used to be Phantom Works on um, Velocity, which then became Motor Trend, but that ended this year. So. Um, for the most part, I'm either watching YouTube, crafting, or reading books. So, yes. So here's a cute little boy I mentioned earlier. He's got some flowers, so I'm going to add that. And this is Poppy Parade. So the Stampin' Up! colors I used were Poppy Parade, uh, Melon Mambo, Bermuda Bay, and I think I used Pool Party on one of them as well. So I went ahead and cut this down and this may be the only one that's like a 16th of an inch and that's because I adhered it incorrectly and instead of trying to start all over, I just trimmed it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this to the card bush. And then I'm gonna add this um, flowers straight down and then I'm gonna add him with some dimensionals. I also ordered the Doodlebug stamp, some Doodlebug stamps, but I ordered from a cherry on top and they got it in like last week and they haven't shipped it yet. So hopefully they will get here in time for me to make some Easter cards with them. <laughs> I also ordered the new Whimsy stamp kit, um, stamps kit. I guess they have a kit every month. I didn't know about it. Um, I skipped the last couple of kits from Simon Says Stamp here. I used a small circle punch to punch out one of the cards because I felt like I needed something else on the other side. Um, so I just went ahead and added some Mika Stella there. Um, I, I've skipped on the last two Simon Says Stamp kits because I just don't care for them. <laughs> they haven't had anything that I've really loved, so I've skipped out on them. So since I did that, I went ahead and purchased the ones from Whimsy Stamps. Um, it's a cute little Easter kit. And I'll, if I can remember, I'll link it down below. But if not, you can just go to their, um, either on Instagram or follow them, uh, follow them on Instagram or find it on their, um, website. I love whimsy stamps and I have some cute stamps to use with you guys. So for this one again I'm using Bermuda Bay and I'm going to cut down um, this piece. Um, I felt like I needed to bring in some more red because of the red strawberries and the red on the um, banner. So this is going to be an eighth of an inch. Oh and the red and the polka dot. So this is going to be an eighth of an inch bigger than um, the other layer. And all my other layers have almost always been two. So this is probably two and an eighth by five and three eighths. And then this is a two by five and a half. Get that here and get them trimmed down. So I considered adding the sweet to the front, but it was just too big and I kind of like how it popped with the red. 
And you guys know I love a red and Bermuda Bay or red and aqua. So red and Bermuda Bay, you know, red and pool party. <laughs> love, 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 especially at Christmas. So I felt like I needed something to help these strawberries pop against that polka dot paper. And so I went ahead and punched out a one inch circle um, and I'm adhering these strawberries to them. And I'm kind of alternating um, which side it gets adhered on. That way I can alternate them, um, you know, if it's chocolate, if it's got chocolate on it or not. So um, I just thought that was cute. And I really do like um, how these stand out. And I believe this is the last of the cards. So once I get these adhered, I go ahead and add a um, sentiment in the side that says, hello, sugar. Um, you'll see me bring in my card, my card, my phone, because I have a friend. Um, his name is Matt Marr. You can follow him on, he has a podcast. He's on YouTube. Um, he's fantastic, but he's, he calls everybody sugar. So when I made this card, I was sending him, I was taking pictures of it so I could send it to him. Um, his birthday is coming soon. So hopefully I can get this in the mail to him. Um, so he can, he can have it and yeah. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Here's a look at all, like I said, I think it was 28 cards. Um, I absolutely love this series. I hope you do too. I hope you find it helpful. Um, let me know in the comments again what time you think. Let me know what your favorite card was. Um, just make sure that you're commenting and engaging. Um, my views have been kind of down. A lot of that's my fault because I haven't been very consistent, but um, I would love for you guys to comment and I try to respond to almost all comments. If I can't respond, I at least give you a heart or a like. Um, sometimes um, if you've commented a few weeks later, I don't see it, etc. So if I didn't comment, I apologize. But I do try um, to comment as much as I can, especially in the first couple of hours. So again, thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you're subscribed and give this video a thumbs up. If you're not following me on social media, I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.